The Road Ahead, sponsored by RTC. I am Annie Woods for The Road Ahead with RTC. It's that time of year when we can expect to see a lot of little ones trick-or-treating for Halloween. RTC planning manager Graham Dollarhide is here to remind us of some safety tips. Thanks for being with us, Graham. What can everyone do to increase safety for Halloween? Hi, Annie. So number one is to keep an eye out for kids, whether they're walking on the sidewalks or crossing the street. Trick-or-treating is always a fun tradition for kids, and they have a right to feel safe while they do it. Since children will be wearing costumes, we ask parents to make sure they're visible at night. It's a good idea to wear bright reflective costumes or add strips of reflective tape so they'll be easier to see. We also recommend that kids wear bright face paint instead of masks because masks can make it more difficult for them to see. Good ideas. Okay, also daylight saving time ends this weekend, so it's going to get dark an hour earlier. How does this affect pedestrian safety? 80% of pedestrian fatalities happen between dusk and dawn in Washoe County, so losing an hour of daylight in the evenings could have an impact. RTC's vision is zero roadway fatalities. We want to remind everyone to use extra caution on our roadways and sidewalks. Drivers and pedestrians should acknowledge one another through eye contact and never be impaired while out on our roads and sidewalks. All right, so what are some good tips for drivers and pedestrians when it's dark outside? Try to walk in well-lit areas because lighting is certainly a factor in many crashes. Again, it's a good idea to wear bright clothing, reflectors, wearable lights, or even to carry a flashlight. As always, it's safer to avoid distraction whether you're walking or driving. That includes taking, talking on the phone or texting or wearing earbuds that drown out the traffic noise. Always use crosswalks and don't assume that drivers will stop even if you have the right-of-way. Drivers shouldn't be checking their phones even if they're at a red light because it is illegal in Nevada. Well, thank you so much, Graham, for all that great information. And visit visionzerotruckymeadows.com for more information. We're building a better community through quality transportation. The Road Ahead, sponsored by RTC.